Inside the 9X building is frozen in time. New York Telephone moved out in 1995, but during an exclusive tour last year, we saw that on many floors, calendars, desks, and punch card computers were left behind. Developers have shown interest. The city tried to seize it for roughly two million owed in back taxes, but for the past few years, the building has been legally tied up when the owner sought bankruptcy protection. Today, Syracuse Common Councilors unanimously approved a deal where the building's owner would pay the city $700,000 to settle back taxes. The city will then lower the assessment from $3 million to $983,000. The hope is the legal settlement will finally free the building up for development. What we can do in terms of developing the heart of downtown, right across from City Hall, right where everybody, there's a lot of people traffic. While the building's interior is badly outdated, a large 100-spot underground parking structure is very attractive to developers. Under the approved settlement, the building's owner will have to pay taxes based on the new assessment and will have 360 days to begin redeveloping the building or sell it. If they don't, they have to pay the city $10,000 a month. Syracuse Common Councilor Jake Barrett praised the city's corporate counsel office who negotiated the deal but warned people have to have patience. The building has suffered extensive water damage and may need to have asbestos removed. PCPs and the all electric in this building is a daunting task. Even though municipality-wise we've moved this on to the developer, there's still a whole lot of work to be done.